Assalamu alaikum everyone. So it's a nail biting uh, scenario right now with Pepe. So yesterday there was a drop down with Pepe. A lot of people are saying it's a dump. It's a very massive dump. Uh, I did have a message, of course, people saying that, hey, we're getting a lot of dumps. And when I opened up the, the charts, it was just nothing more than a little bit of two red candles that really is making a lot of people afraid, which actually leads me to tell you that always invest uh, proportional to your emotions, all right? Your investment should, ref should be a reflection of what your emotions may become. And what I mean by this, if you have $10,000 to invest in crypto and you buy $10,000 of PayPay and you're especially trading in futures, trust me, your emotions are going to be super, super high with one little bit of drop, with one little bit of drop, you're going to be you know, you're going to be exhausting yourself mentally and you're going to look at the computer for maybe two hours, three hours the whole day and then you're going to have, uh, you know, eye strain or, um, you know, market paralysis if, that, if that's what they call. And this is all a part of trading, you know. Uh, I talked this in detail in my 19 hours course of paid, uh, which is paid one. But a lot of information goes in there. So uh, understand this one thing that it's really important for you to do your money management. And then that's the one more thing that I do teach risk management. Another thing that I teach, how many people really care about money management, risk man management? Nobody. People just want to get, you know, the easy way out and, you know, become very, very rich very, very quickly. Nobody wants to even care if Pepe is going to come up here, touch this resistance and maybe then go down. Everyone just wants to know. And uh, they want to get their wish fulfilled that, yes, we just want to go up. We want 100x in the next two hours. And that's pretty much it. But there, there's a lot than what meets the eye. And you guys have to understand that. But back on the charts, on the four-hour time frame, I don't think there's anything wrong at all with Pepe. Because, uh, yeah, you went up like this for a moment. You did come down once again. But look at it, okay? Look at this. The thing is that if you notice, these two candles are still on the line right there, right? The candles are still above this, which was previously your, your resistance line. Now they're being held as support. That's the thing. And this, this is totally okay. But what is not okay, and I've talked about this one in, uh, in the past three videos, is that I don't want to see paper coming down below here. It, it never even really came down here to begin with, even if, if, even if this red candle happened and stuff. But it never really came that much down. If you look at the EMAs, once again, you are above the 55 and you're above the 55 here once again. And again, you're above all the three EMAs, which is still pretty good. You're holding the level. Nothing is wrong with Pepe. So if you do like the video, you're enjoying and uh, you got some valuable information, help me reach 200K. And that's it for this update. I do believe that we're still looking for a push up. And then we're going to see what happens here. Uh, if you break above or if you get rejected, that's uh, we're going to talk about this in, in the future. And once again, the third scenario, you don't want to come down here. Okay, if you do come down here, then I don't, I'm not really going to be very positive on paper. I'm still positive as long as you're not coming here. And that's it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Love, peace.